I'm Mr McLeod and I'm really proud to be the head teacher of St Peter's Catholic High School. We're a friendly, caring and inclusive community. I hope that this virtual open evening gives you a really good sense of our school and what we're about. I think the main strengths of our school are about the relationships that we have across the school. Um, there's a real atmosphere of care um, and values that we have and, and knowing and valuing each child, um, which creates a calm and safe and encouraging learning environment. And it's very much a partnership with parents. Our Catholic ethos is very much at the heart of our school and it's about trying to live our gospel values every day. We have a school chaplain who leads prayer and reflection and charity and community work across our school and we have links between our saints and our forms in our hall system. Our curriculum in Key Stage 3 spreads across three years and our aim is to build firm foundations for a broad and balanced experience, developing a wide knowledge base. The languages we offer are French and Spanish and we also have specialist lessons in art, music, drama, dance and design technology. At Key Stage 4, we offer three option choices with a wide range of subjects in addition to those offered at Key Stage 3, including childcare, dance, construction and photography. The EBAC is available to all, but it's not something that we think is right for everyone. In the last two years, we're really pleased that 100% of our students progressed into post-16 learning or apprenticeships. Looking after your child is our first and most important duty, and it's very much a partnership between home and school. Our assistant head teacher, Mr. Ashton, is in charge of our pastoral care, and Mr. Santos is our resident head of year seven. After this year of transition, your child will have a head of year and a deputy head of year who will follow them through the school. Their form tutor will normally follow them all the way from year seven to year 11. Sport is a significant strength at St. Peter's. We're in the top 1% of state schools in the country. We've been Wigan schools winners or runners up in rugby, football, hockey, netball and athletics and national finalists and winners in rugby league. We've been cricket county finalists for both girls and boys in recent years. The arts are a real strength in our school. Our aim is to foster creativity across art, dance, drama and music. There are numerous clubs and productions and performances and it's about building confidence and teamwork. In 2019, our really successful show of Legally Blonde attracted wide audiences. We offer a wide variety of extracurricular activities. For example, the Duke of Edinburgh, visits to theatres, museums, fieldwork, sporting events, and there are a wide range of trips abroad to World War I battlefields, to Auschwitz, to language trips to Normandy, sports trip to Holland, and a ski trip to the United States. Hi, my name is Mr Santos. I'm the assistant head teacher here at St Peter's and I'm also the resident head of Year 7. My role is to ensure that the transition for all the Year 6s that are transitioning from primary school to high school have an experience that prepares them for the step that they're about to take. We are doing this virtual open evening to start the transition journey to ensure that they get the experience that every other Year 6 pupil that have started here at St Peter's have had prior to this year and we think it's massively important to allow them to see our school and get a feel and sense of what our school is all about and hopefully this video will do that. Some of the things that I aim to do this year uh, are to ensure that they don't miss out on anything. So the day visits, the, me going into primary schools and liaising with year six teachers, all that will take place so your son or daughter is not disadvantaged in any way through the transition period. We aim to make things, if we're in the current situation, COVID to core without compromising on the experience that your son or daughter may have over the transition time from primary to secondary. It's really important for me that your children know who I am and I'll see lots of them when visiting primary schools. Um, the transition doesn't start um, just now in, in September of this year, it will go all the way through year six and till the end of year seven, where we hope at that point your son or daughter will be happy, um, smiley, young people like they will have been with comfortable at saying that they're primary schools. One of the things we did for this year's transition, uh, we put a virtual tour of our school together. Um, it was very difficult times to ensure the transition went smoothly, but that was one of the things we did to allow the Year 6s who are now currently Year 7 an opportunity to see our school. 
um, please take the time to have a look at that virtual tour um, alongside this virtual open evening. It will really give you a sense and a taste of what our school is all about and allow you to take a step-by-step -step guide through the building into classrooms and even see some of the staff and departments that we have here at St Peter's and meet some of the key figures that you will, your son or daughter will come across when they start in September. So please take time to look at that virtual tour. My name's Claudia, I went to St Bernadette's and I started St Peter's this year. In my transition to high school, I did an open evening and Mr Santos came in and told us what's going to happen. He answered all our worries and brought some pupils in to tell us what Year 7's like. I've enjoyed doing PE, English, performing arts and art in St Peter's. I've enjoyed these subjects because they're slightly different to what we did in primary school. The main differences between high school and primary school are it's much bigger, there are more subjects and a different like lunch area. Hi, I'm Megan. I've started St Peter's in September from St Mary's. Since starting St Peter's, I've enjoyed doing art in PE. During our transition, um, we had an open evening. We got a tour around St Peter's and Mr Santos came into primary school. Hi, my name is Jake. I started St Peter's in September. I was worried about high school because I came on my own from my primary school to high school. I was worried about making friends, but eventually I made a lot of friends from my form and being on the yard and from doing clubs. Hi, I'm Kirsty. I'm the school chaplain here at St Peter's. Um, I've been here for five years now and my main role is uh, to look after the Catholic life and the emotional well-being of our school at St Peter's. Uh, we're a learning and serving community enriched through friendship and Christian faith and that's really obvious in all the different things that we do from our charity work to our collective worship. When you start with us in year seven you'll be greeted by me on your very first day and we'll start with our welcome mass uh, and then throughout the, the start of the year I'll be on the corridor making sure you're okay. Uh, throughout that start as well we'll do things with our chaplaincy team, some prayer and pizza, come along and meet in the chapel and then we'll also have our, our girls group for those who just need a little bit of a boost of self-confidence. One of the amazing things that we do is we promote our being part of one community at St Peter's and you'll do that even before you start with us in September. You'll come along to your transition days and we'll think about being part of a great community, the community of God. And then once you're with us, like I said, we'll do our St Peter's Welcome Mass. But you'll also have days where you go and get to know your form teacher and your form, get to know me a little bit better and get to know Mr Santis. And you'll do that down at Anime in uh, St Helens and we have great fun doing retreat days, doing games, learning a bit more about our faith journey and about being part of the community. I'm Grace and I'm from Year 9 and I remember when I was in Year 7 I was very scared of the big school and not finding my way around but you soon get used to it within a few weeks. Home teachers are really important because we see them every day and they look after all of our needs. Hello, I'm Ruby and I'm in Year 9. As a student at St Peter's, I've had lots of opportunities like going to Disneyland Paris with my year. I would recommend St Peter's as a high school because it's more than just learning. You get given lots of opportunities and it's a really welcoming community. Hi, my name is Jacob and I'm in my third year at school. When I started St Peter's, I was really nervous, but then all the teachers and everyone in the school welcomed me in. When I started St Peter's in Year 7, I made friends by joining uh, the football and rugby teams and uh, making new friends from that. To be a student at St Peter's, I think the community is very good and something to be a part of. I think teachers get the most out of you and it's not just something academic, it's to be a family. The teachers at St Peter's are very caring and want the most for you. They will never leave you behind and if you want help then they'll always give it to you. The activities I've done at St Peter's are two of the school shows. These are a really fun way to express yourself and have fun with lots of other students. The trips we have both been on is the Holland Sports Tour, which was a great experience and we enjoyed very much. 
The teachers at St Peter's are very fun and approachable. They are very easy to talk to, which makes life at St Peter's very easy. I would definitely recommend St Peter's as this is a fun and loving community. It includes everybody's talents and celebrates them all equally. I think St Peter's is special because it's a community where everyone supports each other and get to know each other and family go like brothers and sisters and everyone is like loving and supporting of each other. Welcome to Nurture. Nurture is a nice secluded environment where students from all year groups can come down and feel like themselves. The Nurture even does nice events. Students can have a moment to relax with some nice colourful lights. Thanks to a new build, we're able to offer 205 places in next year's Year 7, but we always have more applications than that number. It's really important that you look at our oversubscription criteria. As a Catholic school, we give preference to baptised Catholics, so it's very important that you hand in the supplementary faith form to our office in addition to the online application through the local authority. This faith form shows us that you are a baptised Catholic or a practitioner of another faith. That places you higher in our oversubscription criteria, so it's vital that that is handed in before the end of October. Thank you very much for visiting our virtual open evening. We hope that it's given you a really good sense of our school and made you want to apply for a place for your child.